Hey guys, welcome back to So Original, it's me, Paige. And I had something happen today that I would like to share with all of you. Alright, so I have our winter break next week. And so this is the last week. And this week I've just decided I'm not going to try. Half the people at my school don't even care. So I don't care either. I'm going to have a good time this week. I'm going to be comfortable when I go to school. The overall is a pretty good day because I wore a sweatshirt. And it's comfortable, and I had a nice day. I don't have any homework tonight or anything. I don't have anything going on, so I can just chill and whatever. And I can eat some cookies that my friend made me. My friend came to school, and she brought some, like, tins with her. And she gave all of her friends, like, a tin of cookies and brownies that she had made. And she had, like, spent hours on making by herself from scratch. So I'm sitting on the bus, and I have this container sitting next to me. And I have my earbuds in because I'm not going to listen to people on the bus because they're annoying. I don't even ride the bus in the morning because I can't stand listening to people that early in the morning. And if you've watched my other videos, you can pretty much tell I really can't stand people. But anyways, I hear somebody tap on my little box and I take my earbud out and I look up. And it's this kid that's like two years younger than me, I believe. And he's just constantly rude to everyone. Unnecessarily rude, I should say. And he looks at me and he's like, what's in here? Okay, hey, for one thing, I don't even talk to you. And another, if you really think you're going to get something out of here, I'm not going to give it to you. You have to be pretty dang special to get some of my food, especially if it's something like cookies. So, trying to get rid of him, I just say stuff. And just because I say stuff and I don't show him what's in there or directly tell him, that immediately means that he has to be rude to me because I won't give him what he wants. Of course, since he's, you know, in like sixth grade, his natural response was, What is it, come? Really? It's really the best you can come up with? That is probably the most childish response you can give me, okay? And if you believe that I shouldn't know what that is, okay, I'm 14 years old and I go to a public school, and I've also had health education, okay? If you really don't think that you hear stuff like that at a public school, you've obviously been homeschooled. Anyways, I stuff my earbud in, and he eventually sits down, and then, throughout the bus ride, this probably happened three or four times, he proceeded to smack the empty space next to me as hard as he could. I don't know if he was trying to scare me or intimidate me, but you really think that smacking the empty space next to me is going to scare me? I mean, what are you going to get out of that? Um, I'm not very easily scared, I don't think, and I'm not really going to be intimidated by you doing something that gorillas would do. That really shows your maturity level there. So, I didn't give you a cookie, and you're going to just continually try to intimidate me or scare me or whatever you're trying to do there and you really think you're going to get a reward from that they're just so unnecessarily rude just because they don't get what they want and I would think at the age of like 12 or 13 you would learn how to deal with it and move on you aren't gonna get anywhere by being rude to people just because they don't give you what you want it's like being one of those people that they're so angry that they didn't get a job that they post on Facebook these death threats to the boss and his family. I mean, you really think you're going to get your job after that? You really think you're going to intimidate them? You're sadly mistaken. Also, a very unhealthy way to vent frustration. And you aren't really solving any of your problems by taking it out on other people. And obviously, I don't think he's very frustrated. But for some reason, he wanted to seem like he was better than me. And honey, you're never going to be better than anyone. I'm not saying that you are going to be the scum of the earth when you're older, and that you already are, but I'm saying that nobody is ever going to be better than anyone else. The only person that you can be better than is yourself. You can always be better than the person that you are right now. Obviously, that kid has a lot of work to do. Well, thank you, child, for teaching me a lesson, because while you are unnecessarily rude to me, I have learned something, unlike yourself, who will probably continue to be this way until someone puts you in your place, or you will just forever be like this and you will pass it down to your children. Thank you.
So I hope you guys avoid these people at all costs, and if you ever happen upon one of them, you tell them something like I have said, or your own version of it, that may put them in their place and make them realize something, and it may teach them something that their parents have never taught them. So have a happy holiday, and if you don't have a holiday during this time, then hey, you get a break. So I don't think that'd be a holiday in itself. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye.